of the nation outside of the twelve tribes, Israel shall know that the house of Israel went into captivity for their iniquity. You think they don't know this? So knowing that we went into captivity, we in captivity for breaking the laws of the Most High. You think they gonna have a uh, the light? And really feel happy about us talking about keep the laws of the Most High, come back to the laws of the Most High? That's vexing them. Listen. And the heathen shall know that the house of Israel went into captivity for their iniquity, because they trespassed against me. Therefore hid I my face from them. Can't get no clearer than that. You come back to the law, statute of commandments of the Most High. You know, admit to the most high that we have sinned against him. We have offended him. That's what we read about in Ezekiel 16 chapter. We offended the most high. Over and over and over again. Therefore hid out my face from them and gave them into the hand of their enemies. So fell they all by the sword according to their uncleanness and according to their transgressions, breaking the most high's laws, have I done unto them and hid my face from them. So now, what we gonna do? We gonna get it together or we gonna still follow the same suit as what we've been doing and falling short of the glory of the most high, the blessings of the most high that he wanna bless us. He want to bless us with. That's why, hallelujah, that the most I have a spirit goes out. We telling our brothers and sisters to come back to these laws, such commandments. You can type in YouTube, going over the laws. And you can go over the laws. I'm going over the laws. You can go over the laws. It's no excuse. It's no excuse. We don't have an excuse. When he bring that judgment, who can say, I didn't know. You don't know because you could be one of the ones that like they said in what Second Ezra was nine twenty two. Let the martyrs to perish. Then was it born in vain? Hopefully it's not you. But some people are born in vain. Let my grape, my plant, be careful with great labor. Have I labored to make? Have I labored to make it perfect? So yes, some of us gonna be made perfect, and some are. Some of the great multitude that was born in vain. But you see, I mean, it goes on and on and on. We we have done the same thing over and over again that didn't work. Didn't work. And that's what this Bible is talking about. That's why you see how, he's, how Ezekiel's cutting them. Jeremiah's cutting them. Isaiah's cutting us. You know, and much I would say, hey, you killed the prophets, man. We did. We killed the prophets. Didn't want to hear what they had to say. Like it is now, we've been condemned for trying to make our people righteous in the eyes of the Most High. And prophesying against our enemies and those that hate us. He just said he's going to give us to the enemies. He said, no friends. And they that hate us. I mean, make him mean something different. Ezekiel 16 and 21. Shame. Say that thou hast slain my children and delivered them to cause them to pass through the fire for them. See, this is what we did. And he said, teach the children of him. But no, we... Cause our children to go through the fire. Worshiping the gods of Canaan and so forth. All kind of gods. And in all thine abominations and thy whoredoms, thou hast not remembered the days of thy youth. Like he said, remember me. All the things that he done. Ten plagues in Egypt. Open up the Red Sea. Walked across dry ground. And all the miracles that he done in the wilderness for 40 years. Whoa, whoa. Destruction, destruction unto thee. Said the most high power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That thou 
has also built unto thee an eminent place, and has made thee an high place in every street. Thou hast built thy high place at every head of the way, and has made thy beauty to be abhorred, made your beauty to be hated, and has opened thy feet to every one that passes by and multiplied thy whoredoms. Just being hoes. Straight up. Whoredom. Over and over again. Thou hast also committed fornication with the Egyptians thy neighbor. Great of flesh. And has increased thy whoredoms to promote, promote, provoke me to anger. Most I say he separated us from all nations. You know, the most I didn't integrate us. Look, Deuteronomy 32 and 8. Most I wasn't, he wasn't about no integration. When the Shai come back, he going to separate everybody again. Deuteronomy 32 and 8. When the most High divided to the nations, that's the vision right there. When you divide it to the nations, their inheritance, their lands that they're going to live on, when he separated the sons of Adam, see? He separated, he didn't integrate nobody. He separated the sons of Adam. That's why you look at the, the back of, if you have any maps in the back of your, your Bible, or you get, buy some maps of ancient maps, you can look and see when he separated the nation. You can see. Let me show you right quick. You can see how he uh, separated the nations. Find one for uh, Some, don't really show I call them. some Bibles do you can really see the um different uh lands that he gave to the nations but you can see if you you know you get some you see, maybe this is it. Oh, here it is this one I'm looking for okay um you can see here on this map, look at the map, and you can see that the Most High divided to the nations their inheritance when he separated all the nations. He didn't integrate them. They all have their different lands. See that? Or well, you can see Moab is in the southwestern part here, you have Edom. Their land is below um, Simeon. You have a lot of different, uh, you know, lands of the nations that he gave them. As he said, he separated the sons of Adam. Just a moment. 